Okay, so this is a demonstration of a XP system which most people would think is not compatible with Windows 7. However, it is. This is a Dell Precision 470. I actually picked this up for free. And uh, it was a challenge, but we did get Windows 7 64-bit installed. Windows 7 Professional. Now the drivers. This driver was automatically recognized by Windows 7 for the video card which is in most precision 470s. Also keep in mind this is the 64-bit version of Windows 7. The onboard Ethernet was also recognized right away. The sound card was not. Uh, when it was first installed, this was an unknown device. But once it was connected to the internet, it did automatically update this. This was the issue. The Adaptec 39320 RAID controller is not recognized by Windows 7 when you try to install it. I did have the driver, which I downloaded from Dell, but Windows 7 did not like it, so I actually had to install Windows 7 on a SATA drive with the driver, then move that volume to the SCSI drive, and then it booted right up from the SCSI drive. So I'm not sure why that was, but this is the actual driver. This was downloaded from Dell. It's the Windows XP X64 driver, which will be recognized by Windows 7. So we now have the SCSI controller running SCSI RAID 0. There's twin. 36 gigabyte drives running in a RAID 0 configuration. You can see here. So it's 236 gigabyte drives, which looks like one 72 gigabyte drive. And everything running smoothly. Once again, 64 bit Windows 7 no problem on this machine. A little bit slow because there's hardly any memory. But the Precision 470 will take up to 16 gigs, so just needs to be upgraded. There's one CPU in here now, it is capable of two, 64 bit. So again, Precision 470, you might find these for cheap or free. I got this one for free. And it would be a pretty capable little Windows 7 server or high-end workstation to play with. For more information about XP to Windows 7 conversions, visit www.xp27.com. Thank you.